Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to a hump day edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio, I have Amanda from Gingerly Baked. Welcome, Amanda. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming. You really brought it today. Look at this display. We are going to be eating good in this office today. Let's give it a little history of yourself and Gingerly Baked. So I've been in the baking and pastry industry for a long time now, approaching 18 years. You're like... Industry. I gonna... started when I was 15. Okay. <laughs> I got my first job when I was in high school working at um, a bakery in a banquet hall. Is this in Connecticut? Yes, in Connecticut. Okay. I wanted, at the time, my goal was to go to the Culinary Institute of America. Yeah. And in order to go there, you need to have six months of experience. So I was doing it as a program through my high school to get credits and to get the experience. And I ended up working full time. I was doing everything from baking, filling, icing, decorating all their wedding cakes by the time I was a senior in high school. I went on to go to the Culinary Institute of America and I got my bachelor's in baking and pastry Is management. Is that in Hyde Park? Yes, Hyde Park, New York. It's like world it's famous, beautiful yeah. over there. Um, after I finished school, I worked at a couple of restaurants in New York and Connecticut. And right before I moved out here, I was doing bread for three years. Wow. I love, like, I wanted to get the experience of bread and laminated pastries. I really wanted to be well rounded, so I've done a lot of different stuff in the field. My husband and I, we moved out here in 2013. Since we've been out here, I worked at a private golf club, a private country club, a couple Are you a of golfers. Because I saw a little bit. My husband's more of the golfer. I saw the clubs you worked at, and there are some of the best oh, yes, clubs, gorgeous yes. places to Castle play. Castle Pines, yeah. absolutely beautiful. I got my husband on the course a couple times. Wow, yeah. so he, he owes you big time. That's, I, that's not an easy probably, course to get on. I was a, I had was a, given the opportunity to go play as much as I wanted, but I, I'm not. An avid Did you play golfer. once even? A little bit when they, they redid some of the greens and I got to hit a ball on the new green a couple times so that was fun yeah. um, since then I worked at a bakery I've just done so much stuff recent most recently I was just working at a high volume catering company for two and a half okay. years uh, because of COVID I was like for load I was when, working so what, a little bit when did gingerly bake start very recently, I started September 1st. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really recent. Yes. Right. Yeah, with the stimulus ending and like work not guaranteed, yeah. I started doing a little bit on the side and then I was like, I want to put all my energy into this. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. For me, I thought you've been around a while. It seemed established. Oh, wow. So that's Thank good. You. Let's jump Thank into you. the products because we got yes. a lot to talk Thank about you. and I want to cut this bad boy open. Uh, so this one right here is your s'mores cake, right? Yeah, so this is one of my most popular flavors. I have tons of signature uh, signature cakes. Lemon raspberry is my number one. Chocolate obsession is my second most popular. And then the s'mores. The s'mores is fun, so I wanted to bring it in today. Well, we're going to attempt to cut it. Okay, Let's give this yeah, a we'll shot here. We're, we're, we're playing with knives here. <laughs> All right. So, so this. So, and okay. you're going to teach them the yes. proper way to cut a cake. So when cutting a cake, you want a hot, clean knife. So I usually recommend dipping your hot or running it under hot water um, before you cut into the cake. So you have a hot knife, it's clean. You want to wipe off the excess water. This one looks hard to cut. Yeah, I'm like, let me just go. Oh, okay. It's still a little cold. I always recommend too leaving your cakes out for at least an hour before you enjoy them because you okay. want the buttercream to be room temperature and the flavors taste best at room temp. Did not know that. Good. Yeah. But, um, but but in general, you have to keep it refrigerated. Yes. My cakes, I do mousse cake because I find that it's more interesting. I'm like, I have plates. Yep, I oh, nice. okay. I was like, where are my plates? Oh. Okay. And how much would a cake like this cost? So this is my four inch cake. You know what? Let me cut a bigger slice. <laughs> I went too small. I have all the fun stuff on top, so it is. Don't put it on my body. Oh, yeah, baby. All the good stuff on the same side. The first slice is never the prettiest slice. You can see I have marshmallow fluff in there. I have my chocolate mousse. I have so graham cracker crunchies. But when the cake is more room temp, you do get a nicer slice out of it. And I always say it's just like cutting a pie. The first slice is not the prettiest slice. Okay. Uh, what other uh, cakes did you bring today? So I specialize in dietary restrictions. So this cake is completely gluten free, which is, I'm excited about. And it's one of my seasonal cakes. It's you hear that, bread. babe? You're getting a cake today. Yay. 
Yeah, this is my, my vanilla gingerbread cake. So it has gingerbread mousse, it's vanilla cake with a chewy caramel inside. Sick, and then what's up front? Those are gluten-free as well. Those are uh, my coconut almond macarons. Beautiful. Yeah. And then cookies. Cookies, I have tons of cookies. I have been called the cookie monster in the past. At Castle Pines, I was known for being the cookie monster amongst the caddies. Um, I have my chocolate chunk sea salt, um, oatmeal raisin, snickerdoodle right here is butterscotch toffee. That's a popular oh, one. The chewy ginger molasses right here. Those are very popular right now too because of the season. I have my peanut, all things peanut butter right here. And I have peppermint Oreo brownies and this cake is vegan. It's a chocolate peppermint vegan mousse cake. So yeah, I specialize in vegan and gluten, fair, gluten free needs. These are my chocolates. This is my winter collection right now. I have gingerbread, eggnog, salted caramel, and uh, raspberry. And I almost forgot hazelnut espresso, which is one of my favorite so, ones, a hazelnut <laughs> latte. And yeah, those, want me to break one open? Sure. All right, well, let's do the caramel, because the caramel is fun. Let's see, salted caramel. Okay, and we have one more cake we haven't talked about, right? Oh yeah, and this cake, this is another one off of my seasonal menu. It's my chocolate eggnog cake. So Come on. eggnog mousse chocolate with ganache inside. And I like my cakes to have texture, so you usually find a crunch element inside of my cake. And yeah, the cakes are my specialty, so that's, that's funny. why I wanted so to that's, them that's in. That's why, I like, for my birthday, I always get ice cream cake from Baskin Robbins, because I like I that understand. crunchy center. Yes, that's my favorite part too. I love Dairy Queen's ice cream cakes. I'm not gonna lie, because yeah, I like <laughs> the, the fudge. They do the fudge and the crunch. So I like the both those layers. Well, here's the question everybody has at home. How can they get your cakes and your cookies and your chocolate? So you can reach me several, several different ways. I, I like it when people email me. You can reach me at amanda at gingerlybake.com. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Gingerly Baked Co, and you can find me on Instagram at gingerbla gingerly baked underscore gingerly underscore baked. Sorry, <laughs> and uh, my website www.gingerlybaked.com, and you can. I have a quick order. I don't have too much stuff on my quick order because a lot of stuff I do is so customized. So you can find my chocolates, and I I sell cookies six per pack of these large jumbo size ones. They're nice for a gift. So I have like my gift options on my quick order. But as far as like cakes, cupcakes, and more customized things, I do decorated sugar cookies. I always say send me an email or message me on Facebook or Instagram and we can start a conversation. What kind of lead time do you generally need? So I always have a hard time answering that question because it just depends how booked <laughs> sure. I am. But to I, be safe. I, uh, I, would, I prefer at least three days. Um, That's not so much. Yeah, I, I almost always will squeeze you in because I feel like no one should have to go without desserts. <laughs> So I'll like That's almost always role. make it happen unless you're like, I need a cake in an hour. That's the only time I'm really like, I can't do it. But a lot of times I'm working on other projects so I can make it happen because I'm already in the process. And, and do you deliver? Or is it pickup? I both? Do, yes, I do both. Okay. Um, so you can find me in Arvada. I do delivery. If you're within five miles of me, I deliver for free. And then um, it goes all the way like 10 to $30, depending how far you are. If you're past 25 miles from me, that's an additional dollar per mile. It's reasonable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I try to be very reasonable with all my pricing. Like uh, my four-inch cakes are thirty dollars, and then my six-inch is forty-five, and it goes up twenty dollars with each size from there. And then customizations are additional. How much for one cookie? One cookie? <laughs> That's free. <laughs> Yay! Amanda, good to meet you. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. This is what I'm eating right now. Yes. I'm gonna That's try them all, That's but, a good one. but this one looks too good to me. Yes. I like my cookies chewy. We don't have a guest today for What's for Lunch, so we'll see you tomorrow for What's for Lunch and Local Biz Buzz. Let's eat! Oh, my wow. <laughs> Ooh. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, baby.